All right, so now let's take a, a look at how we can delete a plugin using Packer. Uh, that's normally pretty easy. If you just go back to your plugin file, so in this case, you can see that I have a pop-up window come up on my NeoVim program, and that, that's another plugin that we'll talk about in another video called Telescope. It's a really cool plugin. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, but in here, we'll just go into our plugins.lua file. And let's just say we want to remove the view now. So let's comment this one out. Go back into NeoVim. And to uninstall it now, you can do packer clean. And uh, that, that'll inspect your plugins.lua file for any changes. And uh, in this case, it recognized that, hey, we no longer have that use div view line anymore we could, because we've commented it out. So it's asking us, hey, do you want to remove the following directory where div view lives? So in this case, yes, I want to remove it. All right. So I no longer have div view installed. Great. You can, uh, let's reload them here. And you can see div view is no longer an option for me. All right, so um, let's also cover how to list the plugins that you have installed. That's a simple commands packer um, status. Here you can you can see what plugins are um, installed. I think this is a bug because it's still saying I have div view installed even though we just removed it. So just ignore that. But anyway, you can hit enter and it'll expand on that plugin and show you the URL of that plugin, the path where it's installed, any options that are um, with it and so forth. So that's how to view the plugins that you have installed. And say, say now you wanna update your plugins, okay? So when, you, when Packer installs these plugins that you have to find in your configuration file, it typically installs the latest version. And um, in order to update to uh, a greater version, a version that maybe was released a couple of days ago or after that, after a version that was released after you initially installed that plugin, you can run the command Packer update. So in this case, you see that we have a lot of uh, plugins that we need updated. Okay. And it's also telling me that there's a potential breaking change in the telescope. Okay, so now we can see the diff of all of that. Um, I don't want to update my packages quite right now. So if you do, if you want to revert a change, like for example, it's, it just told me, hey, telescope might have a breaking change. Do you want to update it? And in this case, I don't. So you can hit R on that to revert. If you want to revert it, I hit Y and enter to say yes. This is something I wish Packer would do is maybe update the little icons as, as I'm reverting these packages, but I'm just gonna go ahead and revert all of the updates. I don't want to do the update right now. And that one there. Just going one by one. All of my plugins, all of the plugins that are being updated. Okay, looks like that's all. And it also shows you all of the commits between the currently installed version and the version that you've updated to. Which is kind of cool. So you to quit that. And that is it. Any other commands that you would like to explore, I would recommend maybe exploring Snapshot if you're interested in taking a snapshot of your plugins to revert to after an update, if an update goes wrong. And uh, that is about it. Packer is a pretty simple plugin manager for NeoVim. There's not much else to it. Um, in the next video, we'll explore some of these other plugins. Maybe we'll go into... Um, I don't know, COC or buffer line, blue line. We'll see.